Hi my friends, today we model this part which is not so complicated but you must be careful at the details. The drawing is here with all the necessary dimensions. We start by creating this contour with this point as the center point. Radius 80, 130, 20 and 225. Let's do this. New standard millimeter psi PT. The plane is this one and uh, we start with uh, a line a vertical line and then a sloped one i keep press the left button to obtain a, an arc instead of a line i go here here and close as i said this point is centered on the center point now i apply one dimension and we have all scaled 80. you see then the other dimensions but uh, we must make equal these two sloped lines and also to these two verticals dimensions are 130 130 this is 20 and the bottom line is 225 Finish sketch, extrude, and now we apply an extrusion to the left, larger enough to cover everything else. Well, this uh, large enough is uh, 109. 109 okay you can see here that dimension 109 i made this uh, feature on a starting from here to here you'll see why next we use uh, these dimensions 22.5 this uh, thickness of 11.8 uh, the angle of 45 we stop here with that uh, construction and you have to be careful with this dimension 32.5 for this point this point because this line intersect the projection of this generator which is diameter 65 and uh, this is the half of 65 good let's do this the plane is xy new sketch f7 home and now i draw a line from this point to somewhere here then i go to the bottom line i go to the left 
I go up keeping this point as uh, good because this is the projection of this line you see I use this projection sure I make this uh, construction but it will be very useful then I draw a small line along this line I hover on this because I want to draw a parallel line with this I go somewhere here up vertical and I go back to this uh, starting point good you see all this sketch this is 22.5 this point is placed at a distance of uh, 32.5 dimension in the drawing this angle is 45 and this dimension is 11.8 we have a fully constrained sketch finish extrude this contour you see something here <laughs> symmetrical yes symmetrical on 225 225 but not as you can see here we apply intersect yes not cut but intersect okay we have uh, this uh, nice feature now we apply a strategic fillet this one of 10 in order to place this other fillets you can see here this is uh, uh, difficult to be created after we finish other features we continue the modeling with creating uh, this uh, protrusion we have these dimensions radius 80 radius 80 good we select this face we draw a circle with this dimension finish sketch and we extrude only this segment to the part yes okay next is this uh, cylinder with dimensions diameter 100 and 15 as the generator we use the plane XY and we draw a rectangle starting from here with dimensions 15 and we apply center line to this line and the diameter of 100 finish sketch revolve okay 
Next is uh, this uh, face. This is a feature, a flat feature with the starting face of this line. You see 109 is this dimension and if you uh, put together 2.5, 60 and 46.5 you find this 109. This is why we start with this face and we finish it here. This is 62.5 minus 52.5. This means that this is uh, with a thickness of 10. Okay. We use this face for a new sketch. Line from this point down. I keep press the left button and I go back here. We have a close contour, yes? The center of this arc is aligned with the center point and the dimension is 80 the radius 80 the distance from this arc to this circle is 210 210 we make the same thing with the new line keep press the left button go here and go back again this point is on the same vertical with this point this dimension is 88 all dimensions are in the drawing and this is radius 20. I apply split and these two points because I want to make this construction line. Finish sketch, extrude this and this the other direction, join on 10 millimeters. Okay. Good. Next is uh, this cylinder. You see this. The radius is 80. The same with the the plate. We select this face, we draw a circle with this center and this point and we can apply again split because we want to make this segment as a construction what is the dimension this is 60 plus 2.5 minus 10 62.5 minus 10 finish sketch not minus 10 because we start from here not from the back extrude 52.5 okay I, I go back to the drawing this is the dimension 52.5 when you 
take a look here yes this is the dimension of the cylinder plus this uh, protrusion from this face okay we continue with this uh, flat uh, face you see here 2.5 as a gap measured from this this means that this is 2.5 the other line is uh, a continuation of this line dimensions are 250 with uh, 225 and the thickness is uh, this one minus 2.5 take a look here I select this face for a new sketch and I draw a rectangle not to here but lower why because I apply 2.5 here finish sketch extrude this 250 good we continue with the this rib dimensions are 15 from this end 30 degrees and 12 is the thickness not difficult we use the xy plane f7 home and we draw a line a simply line between these two ends this is 15 and this is 30 degrees 'ish sketch extrude we extrude this but I didn't place a line here once again sketch f7 and I draw a full line to connect these two points finish sketch extrude now we see what it follows 12 you can use also the tool rib but uh, sometimes we use other solution next feature is uh, this uh, empty space with uh, dimensions diameter 120 136 and 52.5 and 2 okay xy plane is the base for a new sketch f7 home and we draw lines the first up small horizontal up we go back here and we close this contour this dimension is 210 we know this dimension now I make this as a center line to apply diameters 
of uh, 120 and 136 this is 52.5 and this is 2 millimeters I don't know what is that missing dimension you see here but now I see this point must be aligned with this line or coincident this point with this line now we have a fully constrained sketch we can apply revolve finish revolve with cut okay the part has uh, three holes equidistant about this circle 130 with dimensions 20 6 and diameter of 11 good let's apply this we notice that uh, these holes are uh, also outside this face this is why we'll use another reference as you will see right now home f7 and we go here we draw a line from this face to somewhere up back down and we draw also this line dimensions 130 divided by 2 from the center point is the placement of this line 130 divided by 2 this is a center line and now I select this point if you project this line you can place this line coincident with this point I'm sure that this is outside of the part I don't want to place a dimension and somebody to change something here and to lose this uh, feature other dimensions are 6 11 diameter of 11 and diameter of 20 fully constrained sketch finish sketch revolve cut ok we use now the circular pattern for the last feature about this axis three times okay you see this is outside of the face good another hole is uh, here a diameter of 10 let's place this uh, hole we have this point then we can use the hole with a diameter of 10 through all this uh, part okay this uh, hole has a small uh, cut here of 2.5 millimeters dimensions are uh, 
122 from the center of this radius 48 and uh, we have all dimensions good this is the face we draw an arc between these two points with a radius of 48 and uh, f7 122 is the distance between these two 122 and the last dimension is to place this center aligned on vertical with this point okay extrude this face at uh, 2.5 depth <laughs> not up but the other direction this direction with cut okay other holes of also 10 millimeters are these four dimensions are here let's uh, create a sketch with a rectangle dimensions are 188 tab 180 here is the center point and we apply collinear this point with the center point collinear on the same horizontal and there is another distance here of uh, 40 finish sketch hole diameter of 10 all the way through and we select only these four points okay very good now we have to create uh, fillets you see here the note undimensioned fillets are radius 5 so we use uh, radius 10 and radius 15 to place fillets all around here radius 10 radius 10 and then we add that uh, five millimeters they they are here also here this one and also this one all are five millimeters fillets okay I select this edge 10 I select this as being with 10 this this and now I go here we have to place them on three edges not only one plus 15 for these two edges plus 5 for many other this one this one this three here and other three here okay I suppose that's all but there are also two 
are the ends. Good. Okay. Let's see what's about the volume. High properties, physical, update, copy, close, drawing, double click, and a new volume is uh, slightly different so that we eliminate the former one and we keep what we did here. Material is uh, still cast and uh, the, the aspect is also still cast. You see now how it looks and we apply some uh, aspects to this uh, part. This, this, the internal and this should be machined. We select still polished. You can uh, apply other aspects as you like. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.